So you finally become a landlord, but don't know how to report the information at the end of the year for your tax purposes, you come to the right place. Let me introduce you to the Schedule E I for the IRS Form 1040, Supplemented Income and Losses, and how to fill it out and explain. This video will just uh, will explain to you guys exactly what the Schedule E is, what information is used on it, how the information is, uh, is inputted on the form, and how it transitioned over to your IRS Form 1040, okay? You guys know me. I am Deontay Burton, a.k.a. Mr. Short Doll himself. We've created this series of different schedules to enter. So familiarize people with those forms because me on a tax preparation account, uh, a tax preparation company, me an accountant over 20 years, I get a lot of common questions in regards to a tax file in different forms. So I just want to make these general familiarization videos for the different schedules uh, to help people out in regards to what the forms are used for and well, how they're created because so many people use actual uh, tax preparation software, but don't actually know exactly the purpose of how it transitions. So again, right here, we have the schedule E. These are the different sections. Part one, you see where you have your name, social security number, uh, the different address for the for the properties, um, the different properties right here, rent received for each one of them. And most of the time when you use the software, you input the different properties you're on and they'll make the uh, subsequent schedules for you in regards to those. And these are your total numbers in regards to for expenses and i'm going to we have a form on here example form if you guys look at but this is your basic supplemental income and losses and this is used for rental income and also if you have any kind of partnerships anything like that you have a form k1 that uh, may come from an, another corporation or any other kind of partnership and that information is taken here as well okay the purpose is to if you earn a rental income on a home or building you own Receive royalty or like receive income report on a Schedule K-1 from a partnership or S corporation. Forms usually needed, Schedule K-1, a 1099, miscellaneous box one, or some kind of rental statement, that being for repairs, utility expenses, management fees, just to name a few. Right here, guys, this example that we have drafted up for you guys. And again, I'm not trying to make you guys... Um, accountants or anything like that but give you a basic familiarization because far too often people start delving in and using the actual software uh, and start plugging information into the software but have no idea what they really they know what they put in but they don't know how it's applicable on the particular form and how it transitioned over and then what the actual information is used for from an end result as far as the taxes right but you see right here this is your actual schedule c section filled out got your name so security number, address, uh, what type of property is. Here we got one. Or well, your single family, you put the different kinds of property it may be. The actual amount of time that it was available for rental. Got the whole year right here. And then you see right here on line four, rent received. Just put it right here. These are some of your basic rental expenses. That being for cleaning, insurance, you know, taxes, supplies, things like that. You see we had $18,000 in rent that was received for the year. Now, right here, you see on line 20, these are the total rent expenses that we had, $16,007, the total of all those particular expenses. And that gives us a net profit of $1,993, right? And then that number goes right here to income, $1,993, and line 7. And also, this is the total of everything even from the second page. On the second page, guys, this is what we have here. I didn't want to go too in deep with, with the K-1s on because I didn't want to – it's kind of – I didn't want to be explaining, you know, the information coming from a, K, a K-1 and the different sections, and I'm not showing the actual form that it's coming from. But this is page two with information that comes from any kind of partnership or loss, whereas the K-1 – We'll give you the information, the actual your name for, for the particular business that it's coming from, be it if it's a partnership or corporation, the tax ID number for the business, that background information, and then that income that was transitioned over from that, the actual income, the loss, however that was uh that was given from that. And these are the different ones. And if you see right here, sorry. You see right here, this would be your total. I'm sorry, I didn't even put this on here. This should be the total from Number 26, line 26, 1993, should be right here in uh, section right here, line 41. I apologize, don't have that on now. But just keep in mind, that number 
1993. That's what's gonna that's our bottom line number that we made from rental income. Okay, we talk about this form schedule E. Anytime you're using rental uh, doing a rental property, this is what this information is used for. That 1,193. And that information is taken to your schedule one. This is additional income and adjustments to income. So it doesn't immediately go to your uh, your form 1040, go to your schedule one. And again, when you're using software. The system generates all these particular forms for you. So I know a lot of times when you might, you know, do it yourself or you go to a preparer, you get a stack of forms. You never really go through just, you know, figure this is what, you know, came up from the computer. This is what, you know, everything's right. But this will give you a good idea how this information transferred over. So, again, you said that $1,993. That's right here on line five on your additional income from, you see, real estate, royalties, partnership, your tax schedule E. That's it right there, $1,993. In a previous video, we did the uh, Schedule C. Feel free to check out all the other different videos we have for the different schedules. That $8,111 is irrelevant. That came from a Schedule C example we used, but because I want to show everybody again the other videos how this information is transitioned over to your uh, IRS 1040. But if you see the total of both of those numbers, the $8,111 and $1,993, gives you a total of $1,104. That's your total for your Schedule 1. Again, you see that's your $1,993 from that Schedule E. And that, and that combined with your, uh, the Schedule C information, that's a total of $1,104. That $10,104 10, is moved over here to line number 8, right? Line number 8. And that's the total of other income from Schedule 1, right? That's transition over here. $1,104. You see that? $1,104. And this is part of total part of all your different uh, adjusted gross income. And what it is what your adjusted gross income that is listed right here, excuse me, on uh, line 11. That's just a combination of all the different income streams that an individual may have, i.e., from a job, from uh, uh, taxable interest, dividends, capital gains, or anything like that. That's why all that is combined there to give you that gross number right here. That 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 uh, adjusted gross number right there, subtracting your uh, any kind of itemized deductions, you'll see where that comes into play on the Schedule A, and that gives you rather right your taxable income. And your taxable income is the amount of income that you uh, are liable liable for for any uh, towards any taxes, minus also any kind of credits that you may have applicable towards that. Okay, so I just want to give you guys that you know introduction to you know explanation of a Schedule E, how that information is used. Remember, guys, I am Deontay Burden, a.k.a. Mr. Short Dollar himself. Make sure you subscribe to the Mr. Short Dollar YouTube channel where we talk about personal finance, entrepreneurship, real estate investing, and business. A lot of great information just like what we were just discussing uh, on the channel and a lot of great information coming down the pipe. To stay updated with all the great information that we have currently and all the information that we have to come, hit that dollar sign in the bottom right-hand corner to subscribe to the channel. And also make sure you hit the bell to get a notification each time we upload a new video. Take care of yourself, guys. Best of luck, and I will talk with you soon.